Hey, get down here! Hey! I've been down for a minute! Right there, be right there! Hello, my name is Samantha Goldberg, and I'm with Get Sassy with Samantha. And today I have an incredible guest, one of my favorites. You might know him from Sopranos, uh, Casino, so many others. We really don't have time to go through all of them, but I'm sure that you guys are very familiar. Please. Meet Vinny Vela, an incredible, incredible soul. And we have so many great things to talk about during this show. You're going to learn a lot of the great things that Vinny has done in previous television, things that he's working on, and things that are kind of in the fire, per se. So welcome to the show, Vinny. I'm so glad well, you made time for me. Well, Thank you. You're welcome. Well, we had to coordinate this one. Yes, we did. We but we made it work, right? We sure did. We're, we have the whole ensemble going on kind of a mobster. We're, to, we're actually in the old Little Italy. Is that true? Uh, yeah, well, I'm, I live down here. He lives down yeah, here, okay. I lived down here all my life. Actually, I was born on Bleecker Street in the West Village. Oh, wow. And then I moved here. Well, I I, was, I lived there. That's where I was born. But I hung out here in this mm-hmm. neighborhood ever since I was a teenager. So kids around here used to tell me to go back to the West Side. Kids on the West Side used to tell me to go back to the East Side. Nobody knew where the hell I was from. And you would say, I'm so confused. If I'm not going to go east or west, I have to go north or south, right? It's all right. They, they all know why, yeah. They figured it out now, right? Yeah, they're you right, you're right. them. I don't do it very early in the morning, but I say good morning to everybody. Every morning when I come out of the building, you know, as I pass everybody's door, I the door, I knock on their doors. Hey! Stop breaking me up, you pain in the ass, you! I can't help it, I like you. You're a real pain! My sister in law, the, the dog that barks all the time, they love me! I'm their favorite uncle! They belong to me! Yeah. What? Shut up! That's how you talk to me, I'll move! Yeah. But you want to know something? They all love me in here, and I love them. Shut up! I got my mother in law. Pain in the ass! Hey, hey, hello, baby. How you doing? No questions or something like that. All right. I was born and raised between here and Bleecker Street. I'm here all my life. And, so, I, and I just want you to know that yes. all these mops and movies that you see me in. Yes. You know, if you ever you see these movies again, you've got to remember. That whatever you see, don't believe what you see, I'm a good guy. <laughs> you got it. So he doesn't really knock people off. He doesn't really put them in the fire or chop them up in a car. He doesn't do any of those things, right? Well, yeah, well, it's unfortunate. <laughs> you know, like, I I, yeah, I used to go on a, uh, I went on a, on an audition not too long ago. And, um, Was it for another, uh, like, yeah, mobster? Yeah, another Italian. mobster movie. Okay. But then when I got there, I found out that it was like a, it was like a, like a no budget movie and all this other stuff. So I walked out. But the woman said to me, she says, could you do me a favor? Could you come and could you dress like a wise guy? Listen to me. If I can't do it in my underwear, I'd look like a wise guy. I don't have to dress like one. You know? All right, guys, I'm sorry. I don't think you any problem there. So, now let me ask you a question. You grew up. Did you really, when you were growing up, did you say, you know what? I want to be an actor. And I want to really give a feel of the mafia, the Italian feel. Like, I really feel like that's a good place for me to be. Well... No, I didn't. I didn't grow up saying, well, I want to be an actor or anything like that. I used to, um, I had little jobs here and there that didn't last too long. I always got fired. Vinny, watch the store. I'm going to go someplace. I'll be right back. All right, all right. Don't take too long. Listen, the owner's not here right now. Everything is half price. Hey, you want to buy any meat? Everything is half price. The owner's not here right now. Hey, Simone. What, aches? You can even have meat. Hey, baby, what are you doing here? Come on, it's worth 200 Hey, you check. You got change of 50? Nobody's paying any attention to me. 
Won't be the first time I talk to myself. Now I now I know why these girls are not answering me. I should have said this is a butcher shop. Everything is half price. Here I am saying, your girls want some meat. I gotta approach them a little different. Mom, I'll be back in a little while. He left me in charge of the store. Would you imagine he left me in charge of the store? And uh, <laughs> then what happened was I wanted partners with, uh, uh, have you ever heard of Yasmin Bleak? Believe it or not, I have. I From I um, Baywatch? Yes. Well, her father was She was my, hot. What? I'm sorry? She was sexy. She, she still is. She is, but she uh, was Baywatch? Oh, my God. And her awesome. father, Phil Bleak, was my partner in a business that we opened up. We had these recreational vehicles. Right. And we used to rent them out to the uh, fashion industry. So I worked with models for so many years. Oh. And, uh, and then we started renting them out. Uh, for commercials and movie sets and that's how it all started and uh, actually then I went on hiatus for a while and I was a milk man I used to deliver milk to, uh, to stores <laughs> and I didn't like that too much and it just so happened to happen to be at the right place at the right time <clears throat> where uh, uh, an actor was supposed to be waiting the guy came over to me and said do you know how to drive this truck I said yeah he didn't know who I was, he thought I was the actor. So then he came back with the actor, he goes, who are you? I said, I'm Vinnie Vella, who are you? He said, well, I'm the director. I said, I'm Vinnie Vella. He said, you want to be in this movie? I said, do what? And that's how it all started. So started that I only, And I only crazy. said two words in that movie. Two words? Two words. What was two words worth at that time? Like, what would they pay someone to say two well, words back on was, the movie? Back is, that was back in 1970. 1970. And I said two words. I was that, alive during that time. And I said two words in that movie, and that put me right in the union. Really? Just then, two words. Just two words. Because now it's a full. You know, you have to have at least. I think it's what five lines. A film. I have no oh. idea. Back yeah. then, all I said was "oh shit," you know, <laughs> and that was it. That put me right in the oh, union. Oh shit! And he became a Hollywood legend, right? So, out of all the movies, obviously, you know, millions of people watch Sopranos, and that was. Just it was like a decade of people where they just they felt they were glued to their television sets. They always wanted to know what was going on. Yeah. Out of all the movies that you've been a part of, and I know that you were at two different times a part of The Sopranos. The first season, obviously, we just got through talking about Jimmy Balls was up there, and then coming back the fifth season, yeah. um, and then of course having your role in that point. Did you when you first started? Did you think that you might see it through? Did you ever anticipate that it would last as long as it did? No, I didn't. Really? I what did. was it like to work with, you know, Tony Galdafini and, uh, you know, obviously a, a bunch of the other people? You know, I always, I always say, how is it for them to work with me? Ah, I like it. Jimmy Petrillo, uh, Brooklyn. Hello. It's me. A tennis match with those guys. My guy won. Oh, yeah? The other one, the son. He dropped out. What, he got hurt? Nothing like that. It's settled, that's all. All right. Well, Carmine's out. He's dead? Seems like him and uh, Johnny worked out a deal. You know, I, uh... saw how many women this guy attracts. I had the experience last year at Vinny was nice enough to be a part of, we had a, actually a, quite a few people, uh, Catherine Narducci from Bronx Tale and Tony Rossi and United yeah. Way, when yeah. I was a celebrity spokesperson, he had women flocking to him. You didn't even walk inside of the Pleasant Del Chateau, and you had like 10 million women behind you. I was like, where is this guy? He's out here, and the women are literally like, they gravitate towards you. Can we get a picture with you? Oh, uh, I'm going to Two, three. <laughs> What is that? Yeah. So I don't know. Is the cologne? Is the cappuccino? What is it that attracts all of these women? I think it's other guys want to know the charisma. That's my charisma. I like a confident guy. See, when I look at women, you know what I do? I stare at their lips. Oh. That gets them crazy. It gets them crazy. Do you do you judge a woman by her lips or by her no, legs? No, I. Or, you know, some guys well, are boobs. You or know, legs. some guys are like <laughs> legs. Some guys are this. Some guys are that. Me, I'm a face man. You're a face man? I'm a face man, because that's the first thing you got to look at yes. in the morning when you wake up. <clears throat> you know, if the face is beautiful <laughs> and the body's like a little a little chunky 
a little bit too thin. Yeah. That's okay. You can work it out as long as your face is What if it was like the other way around? I don't, I don't think forget, I can deal with it. Would you have temporary amnesia, like you'd forget who you were with? Like a, yeah, a beautiful he, woman with a not-so-pretty face? A, 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 a not, a, a, yeah, like that. Yeah. I could deal with that. <laughs> yeah, that would be hard. No, they say, you know, like you could put the pillow over the face. Ah! Or, you know, all that kind of stuff. With me, if the woman's oh, not pretty, I, I would put the mattress on her face. I was, oh, my God. I you was know? talking about putting a bag over the face. Yeah, that's I, I couldn't deal with that. That's my joke. I don't know if I could do it either. I know some men say, well... It, you know, uh, fantasy-wise, they think about, you know, it being somebody else. And, you know, then that comes down to not getting emotionally attached. That if you are enjoy somebody's face, if you enjoy kissing them, then you're emotionally involved you know, I, in this. See, there, there, there's a difference, doing. like, when, when you're with a woman or when two people are together. You know, do you want to make love or you want to make sex? Dogs make sex. I like to make Have love. you ever asked a dog? I'm sorry? Have you ever asked a dog that? Have I ever asked a dog that? Maybe they think it's making love. No, well, listen. Listen to me. Uh, <laughs> like, haven't you seen Lady like and the said, Tramp? There's a difference between making love and making sex. What about Lady and Tramp? Lady and the Tramp from Disney. They've had a romantic relationship. I, I prefer to make love. Right? Do, you, do you feel like you've, just, you've always had that chemistry? Be, well, obviously, it's very attractive for a lot of women to be around kind of the mafia feel, even if it's your, just your role that you're playing. There's something that's very sexy about being a part of, like, uh, the Italian mafia, being the bad guy. Do you find that that's pretty true, Jay? Well, I'll tell you, you know, I'm kind of spoiled because I worked with the fashion industry yes. for about 17 years, and every day I used to see... And they used, they have to come to work with no makeup, nothing in the hair, nothing like that. Right. Because they're all done up there. Sure. And when they used to come in, they, they were all done up, I used to say, oh, now that's the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. And then the next day, I said, no, now that's the most beautiful <laughs> woman I've ever seen. I said that every day for about 17 years. So I'm so used to being around beautiful women. And I love beautiful mm. women, you know. I think, and, yeah, uh, I think that's a good thing to love. It is. And uh, so a lot of times... When I would get done with work, I'd be with my friends. A girl would walk by. My f a friend of mine would say, "Wow, look at that uh, garbage!" You know, <laughs> I want to look at that. You know, because I'm so oh, poor. Here's your breakfast, guys. Have you made it just the way you like it, Salvatore? I hate this crap. Why do you always order this, Sally? What? That's real Canadian bacon. Come on. It's that press shit. Would you like me to take it back, Johnny? No, that's all right. I'm hungry. I'll eat it. No, really. It's no trouble. Can I offer you anything else? Anything at all? Just name it. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. now that you mention it... Uh, uh, Salvatore, I meant anything on the menu. Yeah. yeah I I'm going to stop us there. We're going to go into commercial break. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to discuss some of the new things Vinny is working on currently and learn a little bit more about the ladies. This is going to be kind of interesting. We'll see you back in a few seconds. Coming up next on Get Sassy. I want a substantial pizza. And, you know, I want some good meatballs. Got the meatballs where they had the breadcrumbs and they really make a substantial nice Yeah, that's just with the meatballs. I almost forgot. I bought two tickets for the Guttermouth concert. Want to go? What the hell is Guttermouth? An alternative rock band. Alternative to what? I'm not sure. What songs do they play? I don't know. 
Why would you buy two tickets to a band you know nothing about? Because people who go to these concerts get to headbutt each other and the cops just sit back and watch. Get out of here. Hey, God, I saw it on MTV. People go nuts at these things. They bust noses and faces. You name it. Sounds like fun. That's what I thought. We'll bring a set of earplugs, just in case the music sucks. Damn, brass knuckle, huh? Good thinking, good thinking. So welcome back to Get Sassy. We're here today with Vinny Vella, one of my favorite mobsters of all time. And we were talking about uh, Vinny's history previously before our commercial break, and now we're going to kind of delve into what Vinny's doing now. Um, Vinny, you talked about some funny shows that you're working on. He's working on two different movies right now. He's got a whole uh, lot of different things, but I'm, I'm going to try and cover them all during our show. So the one that I was supposed to say, the, the All for Nothing now, this one is the best. Okay. So I want you to explain to our viewers what is All for Nothing about and okay. tell them your part that you're playing. Okay. I love this one. All for Nothing is about a Jew heist. <laughs> <clears throat> and um, so now the place has to be uh, cased out. You, know, okay. you have to case out the place. So you don't just go in there and say, well, uh, there it is and now I know what to do. You have to see where the cameras are, where... Who's there? What time of the day is the best time to do it? Sure. So you're going to have to make at least five or six trips in there until you get it down. But each time you go in, now all of a sudden if you pull the heist and all of a sudden they watch the tapes, they're going to say, wait a second, this guy has been in there seven, five times in the past seven weeks. Right. So each time I go in, I go in in disguise. How often do you have to become these seven different characters? Well, is it's it going to be... Um, a day? Is it like every week it's something else? Like when they're taping it? It's gonna, well, it's not going to be like... You know, it's going to be like every couple of days I go in as a different character. Mm. <clears throat> One of the characters is I'm coming in as a pimp. <laughs> Another one, I'm coming in as a, as a crippled guy. Okay. I'm coming in as a gay guy. Um, uh, let me just tell you the very last one. We're going to move my show to 12 a.m. The very last here. one is the best right one. I'm coming, in, I'm coming out, of, out of the place. I can't say I'm coming. Well, I'm coming in okay. and coming out as a rabbi. How are you? How are my brothers? Vinny? How are you? Yes, how are you? Yes, how are you? Yes, all right, everything's okay. Make sure the camera. Let me put this on there. Nice. I don't want you to mess up my hair. My these are my friends. Asaf, 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 and Chaim. And who? Lachaim. 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 Natural. So repeat after me. You're gonna make a blessing right now. Say the bracha. Baruch. Baruch. Ata. Asa. Hashem. Hashem. Elokeinu. Hadahu. Melech. Melech. Haolam. Haolam. Asher. Asher. Kedishano. Kedishano. Ben mitzvoy sov. Mashka mahushka. Ben sivano. Mashka huna. Lehaniach. Lehaniuna. Tefillin. Shkafilla. All right. Now you got like Bloomberg, he's talking about. Yeah. Cutting these sodas down because kids are getting a little obese, drinking too much soda. <laughs> How come he has to put a ban on bagels? I know. Oh, he would have every Jew in New York on his well, butt if he He's going to switch them to Bialis. Oh, the bagel is like three to 400 calories, uh, and a Bialy is maybe around two, under 200 calories. Uh, and, and most people like Bialis because it's a lot more, it has taste, and it's, it tastes good, but no, it's not a, a New York bagel. As I mean, everybody does know that New York does have some of those bagels. I was out in L.A., the bagels out there suck. That's what I say about the pizza here in New York. Remember? That's what you say about the pizza here in New York. Oh, I can't see it. What are you talking it. about, that Chicago pizza, that deep oh, dish pizza? Oh, here we go again. Yes, uh, it's delicious. It's a meal. If I had to live off this thin paper pizza here in New York, I would starve. There's not enough sauce. And the cheese gets soft. I don't know where you've been eating pizza. And maybe you should go out with me. I will. I'll bring, I'll, you you I'll bring you some place. I'll bring you some place to get that pizza. I have been told, oh, you're going to have the best pizza. My in-laws are from Philly. What place did you go to here that you have the best pizza? Oh, Tell gosh. Me. Name it. You know what? That's a hard question. Well, I chose pizza out of corner. Oh, no, 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 like no, no, no. I'm trying to think where, where I've been for... It's been a while since I've been out. Well, I've been out here for 12 years. So i got to think earlier we came to the city, but I don't... 
These were these little mom and pop places. You're hanging around with the wrong people. I, you're hanging out with Vinny. I gotta hang okay, out with Vinny. Okay, let's get to the show. I Come can, on. I can Forget eat. Forget about the pizza. That's exactly. I, I can eat well, then I can. Okay. Hey, see, I'm taking him up on that. Do you hear that, guys? The next time we're going out, we're gonna have. I want real tiramisu. I want a substantial pizza, and you know, I want some good meatballs. Got the meatballs where they had the breadcrumbs, and they really make a substantial. Nice yeah, that's just with the meatballs. Oh, yeah. The Jimmy Balls yeah. here from Sprouts, I want the meatballs. Oh, yeah. So I, 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 we're going to get ready to go back into a commercial break, but um, when we get back, I definitely want to talk about one more thing. Uh, just when you guys think <laughs> this guy's all over the place, uh, he has his own talk show on top of this. So when we get back, we're going to cover more about Mindy's talk show, and uh, we'll see you back in a few. There you go. Coming up next on Get Sassy. Uh, excuse me, you think uh, maybe I have to do yeah. this shit over there? Hey, you should Dominic! <laughs> hey! Oh, yeah. How are you, my boy? down the law. Otherwise, they're going to make a fool out of you. They make a fool out of me. I write it all down in this book. Every nickel goes down right hey, here. Receipts oh, here. I'm wow. sorry. Receipts here. Bills here. Everything's here. Since when do you talk like that? I'm sorry. It's not Nance gives me here. trouble and I'll tell him, screw around with those suitcases and I'll take the eyes out of his freaking the, head. Again. I didn't crash. That's a freaking head. That's enough. I'm sorry. And what happened? Hello, everybody. I'm Samantha Goldberg with Get Sassy and we're here with Vinny Vella, one of our favorite favorite mobsters of all times, at least in my opinion, and we were just talking about Vinny's extensive resume and the last part of our show, which is to really talk about that Vinny has his own talk show. How long, it's called the Vinny Vela Show, um, Time Warner actually has it within their network, and uh, for those of you in New York, you can see it on channel 56 at 7 o'clock on Thursday, is it Thursday nights that they air? Time, no, on Saturday nights. So on Saturday nights, Saturday it's 7 on Time Warner Cable. On Time Warner Cable. And is it an hour show or is it half It's a half hour show. It's a half hour show. There are many people that don't know that they could get on a channel that does have a substantial audience if they really feel that they, you know, want to get into the world of talk shows. Many people want to get into it. Most people aren't very good at it. So Tay, the fact that you've been doing it on your own small budget for seven years and maintained an audience, that says a lot. So obviously you knew that feeling you're, you know, looking at If I had to be there air. every week, it even yeah. cost me more money. Yeah. You know, because I have to pay the crew. You have and to pay them. And then coffee, back and forth, back and forth. That's right. I'm, I film in a studio on 59th Street, and I live down here in Little It's a back and forth, back and forth, car service, back and forth. Everything is costing me. Right. I'm not making a nickel. This is public yeah. access television, but I'm the one that's that's spreading it all out to all yeah. these different states. I, I do understand so that. So it's, you know, <laughs> and now I, I, you know, people say to me, well, why don't you get somebody that has a shoe store and tell me if you want to promote their shoe store, bring them on a show, tell them it costs $200, tell them $500. I, I thought about it, but then if people, if, if they find out about it, so sure. it's public access television, I'm off, I'm out of there. Well, I think gonna, we're going to revitalize Spain. And now when people know you can have sponsors, who knows, after this show, maybe you're going to have sponsors. But I'll tell you what I do. Hmm. I bring a lot of restaurants and a lot of a lot of people that have restaurants and And you promote it. And I, and I promote their place. So when I go in, they don't charge me. So it's the same I, thing. I like that. So I go into restaurants. I eat like there's no tomorrow. Uh, I go into clubs. They give me a VIP area. They put a bottle of vodka on the table. And you know what? And All you the girls come and over. tip them well and you treat them nice. And then every time you come they, back... Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You so that's the only way I'm I'm scoring from. I use the right weight. Yeah, well. I think scoring would mean well, like I meant scoring grabs, with these restaurants. You think maybe I can get a little sugar over there? Frank, do like they do at home to me. They don't pay no attention. 
Uh, excuse me, I think uh, maybe I have to do the shirt over there. There's your shirt. Dominic! Hey! How are you, my boy? How are you? Didn't you hear my question? You know what's me over here? You didn't see me back here? No, I didn't see. I just sat down over here. I got my back towards you. I'm going to see. Talk. I heard you. I was waiting for you to turn around. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you wouldn't have, would have let me leave without saying hello to me, all right? God forbid. The last time I seen you, was uh, you were performing, uh, you were singing uh, some Italian songs. That, what was that, 40 something street? That's right, that's why I'm here tonight. Are you going to sing tonight? Yeah, me and Frank are going to sing. Whatever I want to hear. Oh, God, listen, everything that came out of your mouth the last time was good. I believe that. Yeah, that was the first thing that came to my mind, be besides Sopranos. When you shot Tony Soprano, I thought you really flipped. I was kind of. You're a good actor. Well, you thought I really was a good Well, no, I mean, like. And you knew me 30 years ago, right? Have I changed? Never. You, you mean I look like this 30 years ago? Should I, should I say what the difference was? <laughs> <laughs> You're the best. I did, can I use your sugar? That's what I came here for. Of right? course, you can take the sugar. Oh, well, thank you so much. And what, what type of guest is your ultimate guest? What do you oh, enjoy? Like, I know there's so many types of different I, people. I've had them all. I've had musicians on the show. Mm -hmm. I have singers that come on. Now, I have, right now, um, I have the Duprees coming on. Yes. Uh, Kenny Vance and the Planetones had half of the Sopranos on. They've had uh, um, uh, uh, Uncle Junior, mm -hmm. Federico Castellucci, and it just goes on and on and on. Sure. And uh, I have singers, I have dancers, and I just love it. Each week it's different. And it's it, I, I just love it because it, 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 I'm out, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and uh, the people are loving, the people in the audience, and they all say to me, wow, where do you get these people from, you know, and... Uh, it's uh, it's char your charisma. There you go. Thank you so much for making the time to be on the show. Oh, you're welcome. You've been you're such welcome. a good friend, and I, I do want to have you back come back on again with our live audience. Because I knew that I'll probably fill it up with many ladies. Love now you also have a show with, with an audience too, right? Yes. Okay, maybe I'll come on that one. I would like that. Okay. Is that a deal? Oh, yeah. A pinky you swear? Got it. You got it. Uh, do you have I, don't, I don't do no pinkies. I know, it's used to my daughter. My sister used say. to do pinkies. You guys, uh, please go to my website to learn more about Vinny's show. Uh, especially for the people in New York and, of course, different areas and how to watch it on the computer. Um, we will have that up in the next week or two. But I wanted to thank you guys for tuning in to Get Sassy. Vinny, thank you so much for coming uh, on the show. You're welcome.